Hey everyone, it's Arash here. In today's video, we are gonna create a modern glass morphism card together. So without further ado, let's dive in. So here I created a frame and now I need a background for it. You can use whatever background you want. However, for this tutorial, I found this beautiful background on unsplash.com. I put the link down in the description in case you wanna download the exact same background. All right, so now I need to add my background here into my frame. Here it is, let me bring it and put it inside my frame. And next, I'm gonna go ahead and create a card. We are gonna create a credit card together. So I'm gonna need a rectangle, let me draw a rectangle here. Let's set the width to 500 and the height to 300. Just like that, I'm gonna align it to the center. And also I'm gonna increase the corner radius amount to 40. Next, I'm gonna go to the fill section and I'm gonna change the type of fill from solid to linear so that we could get a linear gradient. And I'm gonna set these two colors to white, just like this. Make sure to set them both to white. And then let's change the direction of this gradient just like that. So if I select this first color, you can see that the opacity is set to 100%. I'm gonna set it to 70%. And for this one, I'm gonna set it to 40%. Okay, next I'm gonna add a stroke to it. I'm gonna set the color to white and also I'm gonna make sure that it's a linear gradient and I'm gonna change its direction just like this, okay? And also I'm gonna decrease the opacity of this stroke to something like 60%. So far so good. Now we need to add an effect to it. So for the effect, we are gonna need the background blur effect just like that. And I'm gonna increase the blur amount to something like 20. You can obviously adjust it based on your preferences, but for now, I think it looks very good. Maybe I can go ahead and decrease the opacity of this color. I'm gonna set it to 50% and this one to 20%. Yeah, it looks much, much better now. Next, let's add another effect, this time a drop shadow. And I'm gonna set the blur to 40 and the Y to 20. And also I'm gonna decrease the opacity to 10%. And here it is, our glass card is almost ready. Now we need to add some information to this card. So I'm gonna add a text layer quickly. Let's add the card number. I'm gonna write something random, okay? And then I'm gonna increase this text size to 24 points. And I'm gonna change the weight to medium. And let me change the color to white. So far so good, let me bring it right here. I can increase the letter spacing as well a little bit. Now let me duplicate it, hit Control D or Command D, bring it down. Here let's write the name of this card holder. I'm gonna write John Smith for now and just decrease this letter spacing to zero and also the font size to 20. Once again, duplicate it, bring it down. Here, let's write the expiration date. Let's write 0926. And for the padding, I'm gonna set the bottom and left padding to 40 pixels, just like that. Let me select these two and bring them up. For the padding in between, I'm gonna set it to eight pixels and for this one, I'm gonna set it to 16 pixels. Now I'm gonna use this Visa card logo. I'm gonna copy it and bring it here. Let me put it right around this corner. And for the padding, I'm gonna set the top and right padding to 40. And next, I'm gonna select this icon, this tap to pay icon, copy it and paste it right here, put it there and let me align it with my content. So the left padding is gonna be 40 pixels and I'm gonna align it vertically with this Visa card logo, just like that. All right, here is our glass morphism card and you can easily change the background to whatever you want. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you found it useful, please consider subscribing and give it a thumbs up. If you wanna learn more about Figma, make sure to check out this video on the screen. Have a beautiful day and see you next time.